happened at Silverstone. Now we're on board with Vettel in P3, the third practice session. You're about to see a failure on the car. It has happened, not very clear. We have another shot which shows it even better. There it is, the failure on the car. But the key is, it wasn't the main plane or the pylons that had failed. Look here, the gap between the nose and the chassis. It was a mounting pin that had failed on the car. This is how the teams used to approach that problem many years ago with a ring of studs and K-nuts located around the chassis. It was a very secure way of keeping the two parts of the car together, but it wasn't fast, and Formula One needed to come up with a very quick solution for changing the nose in the event of an accident during the race. Now, back in 1991, the great John Barnard designed this, a simple camlock mechanism and stud designed to keep the two parts of the car together. And anybody that's built any pieces of flat pack furniture will be very familiar with this, a simple camlock and stud mechanism that attaches the two together. Let's have a look how Formula One used that on the car. A shot I took at Road America last weekend of a B197 chassis three, actually, a car that I built. And here it is, that camlock, exactly the same design in principle that you'd see on flat pack furniture with a quadrant located here. And then the screwdriver mechanism for Allen key would be inserted in this hex hole here and then turned to lock the mechanism in place. Now here you see Chief Mechanic Kenny Hankammer doing exactly what we've just describing. It was a failure on this mechanism and here's Kenny look operating that camlock mechanism to try and find out exactly what had happened on the car. Now here's the opposite side of that, and again, just like a piece of flat pack furniture, this time the male component, the stud, mounted on the inside face of the nose. So now we've had the cam lock and the stud locating those two pieces together. And again, exactly the same as a piece of engineering you would find in a furniture shop. So there it is, multi-million dollars at stake, the Constructors' Championship at stake, as is the Drivers' Championship, political fallout at Red Bull, and all because of this, guys, a piece of engineering that costs roughly, what, 10 cents? And that is this week's 